This is what I like to call a cycle, man. This is called the vicious cycle. Okay, so you have you have dreams, you have goals. You tell a person one of your dreams and one of your goals, right? And one of these emotions right here is going to pop up from them. They're either going to look at you like this. This face right here is, you can't do that. You can't do that. You know why? Because I can't do that. People love to say that. If they feel like they can't do it, then they say, you can't do it either. Or, it could go from this to this. Mad. They get hot and mad because maybe you start succeeding. And they're like, dang, I really hope this fool don't make it. They don't want you to make it so bad, man, that they try to tear your mind down. Then, let's say you happen to change your mind. You told them, man, I want to do X, Y, and Z by the end of next year. You don't do it, then you become this. Happy. You know why? Because you failed. And they didn't want you to leave them behind, man. They didn't they don't want to see you come up, man. They didn't want to see you succeed. So sometimes we gotta do this. Sometimes you can't tell people about what you're doing. Sometimes you gotta keep it a secret. You know why? Because it can mess with your mental, it can mess with your brain, and then you might actually start believe, believing what these people are telling you. That you can't do it, you can't make it. And then whatever they said, one of these points right here, you're going to say, yep, I knew that was right. And then at this stage for them, they can't wait to tell you that I told you so. So sometimes you can just save yourself a lot of trouble and problems and just uh, doubt by just shut up sometimes, just shutting up.